Bob's uh, beauty shop for horses. Today we're going to give Duke his spring haircut. And uh, you can take a look at him, the things we'll be working on. You can see how the hair is kind of flat, has no body to it. And, uh, and up here you can see it about the same way. Well, well in the wintertime they, uh, they get hair on their legs because on their body too, long hair for, uh, because it's cold. And then in the springtime, uh, Percheron people, this is what this is, is a Percheron horse, they like to have clean legs, meaning uh, no hair. But you can see back, it looks in the back especially, see how the long hair has been growing and a little unsightly. Now if you had a Shire or a uh, uh, Clydesdale, they would like, they like that long hair and they call them feathers. But on the Percheron, it's, uh, we like, like clean legs, little hair. So that's, today we're gonna be giving him a haircut and uh, getting groomed up for the spring. Take a look at the tail, how it looks a little straggly, a little long and uh, doesn't have the body that we'd like to have. So I'm gonna take him inside. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the feathers or the hair on his legs are dry. did this morning was wash his legs real well uh, to make sure all the dirt is off because uh, that's hard on the clippers so uh, you have to have clean legs so he was out there drying drying off and we'll have to take a blow dryer and make sure we got all the moisture out of there before we start clipping going to do here is take a, a regular hair dryer and this is actually my wife's hair dryer and you, uh, this is probably the most most important thing is to get your wife's hair dryer and you'll have to pick a day when she's not here because uh, as most men know a hair dryer for a woman is sacred so uh, that's that works out the best you pick a day when she's not here and you can get in her drawer and grab her hair dryer so basically all you do is make sure that it's good and it's good and dry. That seemed to work pretty good, you know. Uh, I marry I married a uh, a blue-eyed Sally, and uh, she's she's pretty uh, calm normally. But if you if you mess with a hair dryer, she can get irate. So uh, please be aware of that. I'll mention one more thing about the hair dryer. When uh, when you put it up, make sure that you make make sure you remember exactly where it was in the drawer, and try to get it back exactly the way you, you got it, and uh, they'll make make for a happier day. Clippers are actually designed to uh, shear sheep with, but uh, the man said it'd work on horses, so that's what we have. Now, uh, you get the idea of what we're going to do. This is here to all four, all, all four feet, and then we're going to hit the the main part on his neck, and then the tail. All right. Now we have all the feet done. You can take a look at the the difference. What a little bit of trimming does. Uh, they told us this. They traced the ancestors back on this horse and they thought it was related to secretary. So we, we kind of turned him into a, a, a secretary type show horses today. And uh, we actually checked that out. And uh, the closest we could come to that was uh, we found out the former owner actually was a secretary. Next 
Next we're going to work on the tail. You can see it's kind of a full body tail. Something uh, us in the beauty industry uh, really do not like. So uh, we're going to tame that down a little bit. And then we'll go up here to the, his mane. And uh, you can see, just kind of have a flyaway mane. That's what we're after. And uh, I'll we'll see if we can actually enhance that a little bit. And then we, uh, we have what we call the, the forelock here. We'll tone it down. And this area here, it's called a uh, bridle path. Now there's somebody probably out there that named that. But it's a place for the bridle to go around. And if he's not out there, he's probably dead and gone. Either way, um, it's called a bridle path. Go ahead. Here's a tool that's very handy on mains. It thins it out. Uh, razor sharp blades in there and you pull it till it tangles and you keep on going and you get hair. That's what we got. So we'll go through it all and uh, it's kind of an amazing little tool. And uh, we'll give a pair, we'll give him a little bit too, that thins that out. And by the time we're done, we'll have a little less tail here. Something, something most horses prefer. Okay, I got my little stool here. And, uh, Give him the finishing touches. He's done. How much hair we got off of two horses. Like George Washington once says, unbelievable. This is Farmer Bob reporting from the farm, where dogs howl and women growl.